got impeached for, and he should have been impeached. But we see the IRS doubling down on that. We see the IRS and Obama unashamed about the fact that they've been caught doing this. That is the corruption that we see coming from this institution, as well as using the IRS as the enforcement arm for Obamacare, hiring, I think it was 17,000 new IRS agents in order to get Obamacare, the burden of that new tax, according to the Supreme Court on us. I hope that things will change. I hope we get to the point where, you know, he was, he was throwing these things out as kind of a joke. You know, he says, I want you to leave all your cell phones on because I want Obama to hear every word of what I've got to say. And they laughed. And, and he meant that as kind of a, a lighthearted joke. I don't want to take it too seriously. But you know what? When people can no longer laugh at that, when they get angry about the prospect of that, then they will really understand how dangerous this is. William Benny and other people at the NSA, William Benny had worked for decades for the NSA. He was a top technical person at the NSA. He knows exactly where this leads. He was angry. He put his life on the line. He put his career on the line, his pension. All these guys who were whistleblowers for the NSA, they all did that. They take it very seriously. They understand how important this is. But the American public even though people are talking about it, they still don't understand exactly how important that is. Let's go to Josh, Missouri. Josh, what do you think about these CPAC speeches that you've seen? Hi, David. How are you doing today? Doing good. How are you? Uh, yes. Um, Marco Rubio was talking about uh, a new American century. And it's funny how that's the exact same document where they mention a new Pearl Harbor so we can get into these you know, wars overseas and all this. So it just seems like a lot of these, you know, mainline Republicans are serving the same agenda about getting us into war and stuff. And I think that people really need to get behind Ted Cruz because at least he's trying to stand for liberty, trying to stand for the Constitution, and trying to stand for something that will make a change in this, you know, country. It's just craziness what's going on. That's right. He's been unafraid to call it what it is. He's called these actions evil. He's talking about actually doing something that's really going to make a change. You know, people don't realize it, but you can actually get rid of the income tax and you don't really have to roll the government back very far in order to get rid of, in order to make up for the loss of revenue because most of the money that we're funding this government on is borrowed money from future generations. People don't realize that, but the IRS has never been fundamentally about revenue. It's always been about controlling you. Whether they're using it as a political enemies list, whether they're coming after Tea Party groups, or whether they're just putting out these carrot and stick policies to control your individual behavior, to make you buy this or engage in that activity and not engage in this other activity, whether they're trying to steer you in different ways because there are people, large companies that have come to Congress and said, we want you to steer people to buy products from our industry. That's what it's always been used for. It's always been used as an instrument of control. It's always also been there as a very dark instrument of control against political enemies. It's just now the mask has come off. They're no longer afraid. They're no longer intimidated by the laws. We've got a president who does whatever he wishes. And even people who would agree with him on some of his policy positions are very concerned about the way he's conducting himself and the fact that he's become a dictator. People like Jonathan Turley have said that. We see Mark Udall worried about the CIA, and we see the CIA coming back against Senate Intelligence Committee staffers. And in what Mark Udall said is an unprecedented move. Doing the same thing to the Senate Intelligence Committee staffers that they've historically done to whistleblowers. When somebody exposes their criminal actions, what do they do? They come after those people personally. They intimidate them. That's why you do not want to let the government have access to everybody's information. Thank you, Josh, Missouri. Let's go to Hector in, um, in New Jersey. Hector, are you still there? Let's go to uh, Raymond in Kentucky. Raymond. Uh, yes. Uh, hello? Yes. Go ahead. What do you think oh, about CPAC? Oh. Uh, I, I'm, I'm uh, just now really starting to uh, get into being awakened, you know, thanks to Alex Jones and everything. So my question is, like, when he speak and you speak and when y'all say, like, globalists, who, who, who are, like, the top globalists, uh, the top, uh, the most dangerous people uh, right now behind the scenes that are calling shots? Well, we've got the, you can see what's happening if you look at the people who are, 
fostering and funding this revolution in the Ukraine. Hang on, we'll be right back. We'll talk about that a little bit more right after the break. Stay tuned. It's time to kick some ash because cigarettes have met their match. Smokers are switching to Vapriot e-liquid by La Cig because when you kick ash, you kick tar and smelly smoke too. La Cig smokes the competition with real people customer service, a seven-day satisfaction guarantee, and same-day fast free shipping. Become a vapor today at LaCig.com, spelled L-E-C-I-G.com. La Cig e-cigarettes. Kick some ash. Who has the perfect piece of gear for your bushcraft pack or bug out bag? Canteenshop.com. Want to be able to start a fire in any weather? Canteenshop.com. Need a well-built handcrafted knife that'll be passed down for generations? Get to Canteenshop.com for the best selection of high-quality hand-picked gear from over 20 small U.S. businesses and big-name brands to bring you the best that the bushcraft survival world has to offer. Canteenshop.com. What's missing? What's missing from your kit? In the U.S., one in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year. Burglars call it smash and grab. Police call it robbery. We call it avoidable. We are Fake TV, a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. At only $29.95, Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your Fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. A 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods' one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar pouches. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a gluten free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where they make preparedness affordable. 30dayfoodsupply.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex. Now, this half hour of the Alex Jones Show is brought to you by My Patriot Supply. You know, we're seeking our tax, seeing attacks on our freedom like we've never seen them before. But we can secure our independence by breaking free from the confines of their systems of control. The path to liberty starts with attaining a level of self-reliance. My Patriot Supply is a home of a wide variety of survival products, including the Patriot Pantry line of emergency food storage products. It's delicious, nutritious, and prepares in minutes. Patriot Pantry offers amazing variety 
great taste, and it's packaged to last for up to 25 years. Visit MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex today to experience their top-rated customer service, top quality products, incredibly reasonable prices, the products you need, the service you expect, the price you can afford. Visit MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today. Now, you know, coming up in the next segment, we're going to have a special report about estrogen mimickers. Do you even know what they are? Do you know how to block them? We're going to talk about how you can using natural herbs coming up in the next segment. But right now, we're taking some calls about CPAC and other things. We just had a caller. Uh, are you still there, Raymond, in Kentucky? Yes, yes, I'm yes. still here. You would just ask me, you know, who are the globalists? Well, you know, if you want to know who the globalists are, look at the money. Follow the money. Look at the 1% of the 1% that go to Bilderberg, for example, or to the Council on Foreign Relations Look at the people who run those organizations, people like Henry Kissinger and Zbigniew Brzezinski. These are the guys who essentially ran the Nixon and Carter administrations. But you've got people who are profiting from the military industrial complex, the people who are writing Obamacare, the insurance companies who want to profit from that. There is this, some people will call it a crony capitalism, but it's actually much more than that. And I would suggest that you take a look at the history of the Bilderberg Group as well as CFR. You know, Bilderberg, their very first meeting, they plotted the European Union and the Euro. That was when they began. And we now have some of the notes of those meetings for the longest time. Going well into the 1990s, people would say that the Bilderberg Group didn't even exist. Well, now we know that they exist. We follow them around. Other reporters follow them around. And we do get leaks from time to time as to what they're talking about. But if you want to take a look at who the, uh, who the globalists are, start with that list as it's leaked. That's a good place to start. Let's go to, uh, thanks for calling, Raymond. Does that answer your question? Yeah, yes, yeah, so pretty much. I, I just always hear people always complain about Obama this and he done this and done that, but I know that it's other people probably behind him just calling shots, and I feel oh, like yeah. they need to be uh, brought out, and, you know. Absolutely. You know, I, I said in the, earlier in the show, if you want to really see what's going on, look at the fact that up against Obama, they put John McCain. Now, I'm sure John McCain was really excited. He thought maybe he really had a chance, but they had that thing so skewed. I mean, they put a young energetic black guy who could offer hope for real positive change. They put him up against this old, tired, angry white guy who was a fossil of the establishment for generations. Everybody knew he was going to keep things exactly the way they were. It was rigged from the very beginning. But look at what's happened after Obama becomes president and John McCain is, is still there. He's the one that's going around to the places where they're trying to foster unrest and wars. He's going to meet with Al Qaeda in Syria. It's John McCain who goes to meet with the neo-Nazis in the Ukraine. I mean, he's part of that group. He's doing their bidding. It's, it's an insider club. They have the guys who are president. They're really doing the bidding of these guys who really have the money there. Well, thank you, Raymond. Let's go to another Raymond in Illinois. Raymond, Illinois, are you there? Yes. Yes, sir, I am. And this is in regards to what you're talking about. Uh, I don't think we should be the police of the world. And I have a quote here that I wrote down by Thomas Jefferson. The people of every country are the only guardians of their own rights and are the only instruments which can be used for their destruction. It is an axiom in my mind that our liberty can never be safe but in the hands of the people themselves, that too of the people with a certain degree of instruction. That's right. That's right. We see over and over again the U.S., trying to support the idea that we go abroad seeking monsters, monsters to destroy, saying that we're going to give democracy to these people. They need to get it for themselves. We need to fix it here at home first. Why don't we fix what's wrong with America before we try start trying to fix everybody else's problem, don't you think? You're absolutely correct, sir. Well, thank you, uh, Raymond in Illinois. Let's go to Frank in Nebraska. Frank? Oh, happy Friday. Uh, <laughs> yeah. About that CPAC, well, Marco Rubio has uh, been visited quite several times and is very much, <clears throat> excuse me, in cahoots with uh, Mr. Dick Cheney. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's also uh, in with McCain and with Lindsey Miss Graham out of South Carolina. You see him in agreement with them on immigration as well as on the neocon foreign policy. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. We've got a special report coming up about estrogen mimickers. You need to understand how that affects your health and the health of your family. We'll be right back. 
We're on the mark.